look at that right there. Look at that. Oh, see a little white tail go up? You want to chase it. Chase the tail. Chase some tail. You want to chase some tail? We're going to chase some tail. Go chase it. Go no. in there. No. <laughs> we got ticks. Look at that mouth. Look at this little guy. Oh, he's crazy. That pattern is insane. Yeah, he's a very tiny contrast. First time holding he's a mattress. Yeah, yet, but he will be. I'm gonna take First time holding a monitor. All right, I'm gonna go make some eggs. Make Welcome to Sim Container. We're gonna have scrambled eggs. Cooking with Sim Container. Cooking with Sim Container. <laughs> Great. This one was up top. Oh, uh, right here with that guy. That's that's an Arctic female. Oh, that one. That's that morph is a, a really cool dominant gene. Yeah, I like. They turn like, like that black color. and white. Yeah, really neat. That's a super Arctic actually female, and it has like a shadow pattern for some reason. I'm dying to get a false water cobra, but nobody has them. Nobody. There was one, there was a lavender false water cobra, sold immediately on uh, King Snake. Oh wow, different one, I didn't even know that it existed. Yeah. I don't know too much about rat snakes. Just say it's fact. Cool. Yeah, that's an Egyptian species. Oh. That's the diadem rat snake. He's oh. Like, he's, he's through my shirt. very intelligent he's shirt right now? Yeah, you yeah. can tell, he's like. So <laughs> she came in wild caught, laid eggs, I hatched seven of them, and uh, I gave them away. <laughs> Basically, yeah, take some snakes. Are you just feeding crickets? There's a female yellow. Crickets, pinkies. And probably, she's been mating with him. Look at that tail. I would probably try to avoid too many pinkies because they're so fatty though. How often do you feed them less? Not often, maybe once a week. Once yeah. a week. But Ooh. they get mostly crickets, dubia, scrambled eggs, you know. This guy's probably devour dubias. Turkey they too, love right? them. Do you they feed love turkey? This is I do feed, uh, I don't feed turkey no. too often, no. Such a beautiful animals. Like, so I don't think she has eggs or if she's forming any eggs, but he's been after her like crazy. But he just might be. He is calm, nice. Was you know? this the head? Was, you was this the one? So intelligent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, so. So why well, you messaged him? Yeah. Literally a minute. Yeah, like it's a pocket komodo. Yeah. <laughs> now are these the one? smallest monitors? No, no they're they're small. the smallest is a species called. Rhinosparnus, seven inches long. It was just wow. discovered like Just recently. recently, yeah. And then after that is Brevicorda, which is the short tail monitor, eight inches. The smallest in the right? United States would be kings. Kings have a body maybe five inches and then a long skinny tail, total maybe 14 inches. Them? Yeah, I gave him the Alex. I, I decided to go all Ackies in here and... Punch it. Try, try and touch behind his head. By the way, if that thing does bite you, you're probably, let it chew. You're, you're probably fine. <laughs> yeah, no, just don't it let it chew on. It would just suck a little bit. And even if it did, like, actually inject you, what, you're gonna kiss get, it, a, dude. You get a headache for, like, Hey, a prehistoric dragon's got to kiss it. Depends on how you react. Give it a but kiss. Yeah, then you could, you could go into anaphylaxis. Because as my snake, they don't even know what's in well, Some people even have, like, a local reaction. Mm. Yeah. Hog noses are a rear thing. Yeah. They're mostly bluff, usually. Yeah, mostly. Yeah, and then when they, they get right really lot, scared, man. they'll just fake like they're dead. My male's a or total, musk. He's a total prick. Oh, musk, no fun. So, this is the big mean snake that's been hissing. Oh, uh, hey, hey there. Hey, who said you could okay. do that? I'm hoping I get eggs out of my ackee soon. What a, what a faker right there. That's a little faker. Dude, that'd be really cool. Yeah, I already got one clutch from them. I want another clutch. I, if, if I'm like, you know, John keeps popping them out non-stop. The monitors are using the basking temperature to metabolize their food. They don't need okay. UV to metabolize the food. They so what's need the UV heat. for? I have it in here just for ambient lighting. I don't know if it's functional or not. Or not. I could breathe them without it. I mean, they breathe and lay without UVB. But in most of these cages, I have UVB. These guys are so cool. Gerald, how much? Yeah. How many years of experience do you think you got in this? Uh, in breeding, ten years. In keeping water keeping monitors care, yeah. and monitors, since uh, uh, in 1990, I got my first Nile monitor. I didn't know what the hell I was doing until maybe 1998, and then things got better from there. Um, just gotta adjust, keep adjusting, keep learning, and keep 
um, stuff changing like it up yeah. and things happen. You can't stay stay stagnant. You, you know, the lizards are waiting for you to do things for them. Yeah. They want more it. heat. They want more things to do. If you give them the heat, they do things. If you give them leaf litter, they understand it. They forage in it. They dig in it. They they like it. It's like a tool, like a toy for them. So you gotta give them things to do. So so I've, so where are these like native to Aki's? Aki's are Australian. Ah. Um, the big water monitors in the basement of Filipino. Mm. Um, the tree monitors, these are Misul Island yellow tree monitors. The black trees are Aru Island, Indonesia, mm. black tree monitors. And uh, the hognose snakes are the Great Plains of the United yeah. States of America. These are American, like the Western hognose, American Eastern snake. Hognose. And the gastros are an African canopy dwelling, like equatorial Africa. So they're canopy wow. dwelling way up in the trees. Lots of UVB, very, yeah. very hot. Um, and I tend to keep them with a high basking and high humidity. I throw water in, they, they drink water every day. Um, so I just dump it in there. Yeah. They like it wet and hot and humid. So these, these red Aggies, um, they're mating right now. It looks official to me. And they're a young pair of reds. They're about a year and a half old and proven. So we should see some they're eggs in about three right weeks. Now. He's like posing for you. Gotta get those. Here you go, Joe. Get those. They, they look nice and they're posing for you. Those are male. That's a male top and they're yellow, Aki. And the female on the wall is the same type. And they made it today, yesterday. That's <laughs> one so Hey. Yeah. hey there. Coming to white yeah. oh, okay. She knows how to deal with it. These guys are so freaking cool, dude. Oh, okay. well, this is a red but they hate to be that touched. Is a, yeah, it's they like a red, absolutely red. hate to be touched. Uh, I think it's a toffee girl. Yeah. A toffee condom. Hey, uh, yeah. are you looking? That's very pretty. This is an albino. This is an albino jag, actually. Wow. Oh, wow. Hognoses. Yeah, they're fun. I mean, I got into them like 10 years ago. My, my partner likes them, so. I have a small collection, maybe 30 of them. Roofing? Yep, supposedly. They're roofing. Yeah. yeah. Poisonous and venomous. The only snake that's well, poisonous that's and venomous. This is, this is an Azanthic oh, Supaconda. Oh, well, look at this the belly, weird. dude. One of the coolest snakes I've hatched here. Oh, look at the belly sewers. on this guy. Mm, yeah, it's solid black and shiny. Wow, dude. I don't like this at all. Nah, he didn't. That's a boy. And he'll grow up to be a little breeder here, hopefully. Ooh, a little hissing. I don't know if that was him or another one. I heard so he has stuff. water, hide, substrate, and then a humid hide. That helps. Oh, hey. Rear fang little guy. They eat, they eat these uh, amphibians in the wild. I think they're frogs or toads. Don't remember exactly. But uh, they have a toxin in them. So that's how these guys become poisonous. Yeah. It's a very mild venom. Yeah, it's, it's so it's, mild. Yeah. It might make you swell a bit, but it's not going to stop your heart or yeah, no. equivalent to a bee sting. Keep your yeah, brain no, from less. functioning. Less than a less, less than a bee sting, bro. So this is a uh, this is a conda. This is the biggest one I have. I touch, think she's in I here. Touch that top one. Oh, they're locked oh, up. Yeah. yeah. These two are in love. So that's a female azanthic, and the male is a pink pastel. So we're going to make het pink snows. Very cool. So the babies will be normal colored, but carrying the genes of the of both snakes and they'll be het for pink snow. Pretty cool. A pretty uh, nice looking snake. I don't even know if it's been made before, but uh, in my head it sounds nice. Well, <laughs> pink be snow. A I like that. I like that big, that yeah, this is a big girl. They've been mating. Um, she'll be like four mice a week. That's what I've been giving her now. Um, I've been dipping the mice in calcium because if she's got to make shells, I need to make sure she has calcium. And I don't do the sprinkle with these snakes. I give them an actual mouse and dip it in the calcium. This guy is a lace monitor. You don't see these guys ever in America. And guess who was the first person to bring them into America? Who, me? Drawn a drawn. Yeah, that's right, me. Trying to drown you, like lasagna. Trying to drown you, trying to drown you, like lasagna. Trying to drown you, drag it down. Trying to drag it down, man. He brought in these lizards, and 
Johnny Johnny one of the rarest Johnny lizards Johnny in America. Johnny so sweet, man. This guy, how big do you say these guys get, John? Like six feet? Yeah, a little bigger. Up to seven with a long tail. So this guy will get up to seven foot long, including his tail. You know what that means. John's gonna have to take this lizard out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> John just had the greatest time of his life at my house. He saw lace monitors, he saw ackies, he saw coming eye, he saw black tree monitors, he saw hognose snakes, he, he everything bit him. Uh, Honestly guys, this was the best time I've ever had. Uh, first time I got to see somebody's private collection. This, this collection's amazing. If you are into monitors, uh, make sure you're giving John follow on Instagram. Uh, Sim Container. He's also on YouTube as Sim Container. We got we got a whole room of people here. Let's just go around the room. We got John got? from 357 yeah. Reptiles, Snakes. We Let's got go. Asher from Green Tree Exotics. Was that right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was that right? Okay. 